mode of one. Yo, what's poppin' people? It's Dante, photographing on the streets of Philadelphia. Welcome to Market Street. This is my, uh, my stomping ground. This is where I conquer Philadelphia. And so, uh, yeah, the message is simple. Move your physical body. Um, yeah, some random thoughts about the body. I feel as though the soul is merely a reflection of your physical body, or rather your body is a reflection of your soul. And when you consider this, I actually find it to be really wise. I even think that Socrates, he is someone who proclaimed this. I feel like the ancient Greeks, they value the physical body very highly. And when you consider the body this way, you know, a beautiful body, a beautiful mind, a beautiful soul, right? A beautiful body will inevitably have, I believe, a beautiful soul. Similarly with a strong body, right? A strong body, strong soul. Um, yeah, maybe the ultimate bad or the ultimate evil is to be weak as, as a man, right? Um, you know, because maybe the weaker you are as a man, the weaker your soul and the weaker your thoughts. And this weakness will inevitably have you succumb to slavery, both mentally and physically. Um, anyways, walking alone is the way. So when you're practicing street photography, yeah, I think that uh, just going your own way, kind of just like walking on your own, is the ultimate way to do this thing because you're not going to be distracted, right? The ultimate way to focus on the streets is by tuning out all the thoughts, sort of kind of just becoming one with the street, becoming one with life itself. Uh, yeah, where you're not really thinking about anything, you're kind of just responding intuitively, following your gut and shooting from the heart. Um, yeah, with street photography, it is more of this like meditative practice of just walking, moving your body. Um, and yeah, honestly, for me, in terms of fit, uh, fitness and health, I spend maybe 15 minutes in the gym, but most of the day I'm walking, I'm sitting upright, I just live an active and healthy lifestyle. And I think this may be the supreme way to live. And if you consider photography as exercise, it's kind of interesting, right? Because when you're walking and you're moving, you know, your metabolism is firing, your hormones are becoming more balanced. And I think this is where we want to be, but generally. Um, anytime I spend sitting down, I'm like, this shit hurts. Like, I had someone, this lady, she told me today, she's like, I sat down on my ass all weekend watching TV and why is my legs all sore? Why do I feel bad this morning? And I was like, well, yeah, I don't know. I mean, as a man, like we have, we have balls, right? Like, I, like the balls in between our legs, like, I feel like it's designed in a way where it's like, we're not supposed to be sitting down. You know, you're kind of just sitting on your balls. Um, yeah, we don't want to sit on our balls. I feel like uh, maybe <laughs> does, does sitting down on your testes lower your testosterone? Um, ooh, I got the moment right there. I predicted it, you know? I Look at the birds in flight. Yeah, I predicted the... Uh, I like the birds on the wall. Oh, there it goes. Um, I predicted the man going to uh, reach for his watch. Yeah, so a lot of um, street photography, it's mostly just pattern recognition, right? Like I saw him going to gesture, he was like lifting a sleeve or something. And then I knew he was, he was gonna go and do something with his watch. So yeah, I think it's all about like pattern recognition, understanding human behavior, recognizing where to be at what time. You know, a lot of it is chance, but there is some method to the madness where you can become so in tune with the rhythm and the beat of the street where if you walk the same mundane lane every single day it's inevitable that you're going to become one with this lane and i find that market street in philadelphia being the oldest street in philadelphia this may be the greatest place to practice our street photography not to mention the amount of change that has overgone here for the past many years i remember when the gallery was here now we have the fashion District mall there's going to be a 76ers arena that's coming soon and yeah, I don't know. I think actually, speaking of the arena, I feel like a lot of people have been like protesting it and like saying, oh, it's going to be like, you know, this bad thing for the local neighborhood, thinking of Chinatown, you know, they don't want to be displaced and maybe noise complaints, etc. But frankly, this mall has been losing the city of Philadelphia money more than gaining money, I'm pretty sure. No one buys shit anymore. No one goes to this mall and shops or buys anything. Um, everything's like half off, 50% off, 75% off. 
And so actually implementing the 76ers arena, while I could care less for sports, it will bring activity to this neighborhood. And I feel as though the small businesses will benefit from the foot traffic. So I'm actually for the arena, the more I think about it. You know, sports to me, it's like mostly just bread and circuses, right? It's just distraction. It's not necessarily something I really care for. Watching sports is probably the dumbest thing. It's like, just go out and do the thing. Um, never really understood people who watch sports. Doesn't make sense to me personally. But yeah, if they bring the arena, it'll actually benefit this street and I'm looking forward to it. This uh, district, this area, this street specifically being so historic. Yeah, it definitely deserves a revamp and I'm looking forward to it. Um, I saw that our local mayor here, Sherelle Parker, she actually stated that uh, she is for the arena. She's going th going through it. So yeah, I think uh, I think it will be good. But yeah, I think street photography is all about pattern recognition, being present, being in the moment, and um, yeah, just responding loosely, photographing loosely, not taking it too seriously, and almost treating it just like play. It's like, oh, this is play time, you know, time to go out and play, time to go for a walk, time to stroll. Um, fall is coming soon, seasons are changing. We have the uh, beautiful, whatchamacallit, coming, the uh, Christmas village we have during Thanksgiving, I think November, sometime at the end of November, the Christmas Village comes, so Dilworth Plaza, City Hall, Love Park, it's gonna be packed, it's gonna be amazing if you're looking to come to, if you're looking to, come to Philadelphia. Honestly, the best time to come is in the winter when we have the Christmas Village, I find it to be amazing. Sounds like there's also gonna be a fall festival this weekend in Roxborough where I grew up. Might check that out. And the following weekend, I think at Gorgas Park, so we got some fall activities. This past weekend we had a fall activity here, some fall festival. I like when the Reading Terminal does a fall festival because the Amish come out. Shout out to the Amish. Gonna be purchasing a half cow from the Amish farm in Lancaster this month coming up in October. I will have a very big deep freezer in my closet storing my meat for the next couple of months because yeah, I've been uh, eating meat one meal a day two years now. And um, honestly, I never feel hungry and it's kind of crazy. It's like, I just have an overwhelming amount of power flowing through me where I'm waking up extremely early and I'm going for these marches with my 40 pound plate carrier every day for one hour in the morning from five to 6 a.m. Staying disciplined, even working on my street photography. It's like, instead of waking up and grabbing your phone, just wake up and grab your camera and just go and photograph, right? Or go and walk and uh, get outside as soon as possible. And so, yeah, I think that uh, since adopting the carnivore diet, I'm basically just shedding fat and gaining muscle, becoming stronger and increasing the size of my soul. Okay, and one other random thought about the GoPro mini. If you wanna make videos on the streets, just get a GoPro mini, carry it in your pocket, right? Think of the Rico and the GoPro as the ultimate photo video combo and the reason why it's so good is because it's so unobtrusive and you kind of just walk around without having to carry around another like video camera setup. I think the problem with a lot of people that make videos that do street photography is they try to make these epic like B-roll shots of them doing the kind of like walking down the street with their camera like freaking making these like insane like almost like Hollywood sort of cinema videos for their YouTube channel. And I think that's inevitably going to burn you out. If you're looking to make videos, I highly suggest the GoPro Mini. Just shoot it at 1080p and 30fps. And then what I've been doing is I'm exporting the video at 720p because it's so much faster to upload and it can store a lot and I can store a lot more uh, videos, which is important for me. So the speed is great. And then a workflow idea that is something I'm working towards is using video and the audio from the video as a way for me to essentially augment my thoughts, but also to use it as a way for me to write out loud, where if I take this video and I go to the description of the video, it'll actually give you a transcript on YouTube. And if I copy and paste the transcript, feed it to ChatGPT and ask it to organize my thoughts into a blog post or basically just take my voice and write about whatever I was talking about. It is an efficient workflow where 
maybe writing isn't even necessary anymore. Like maybe this is the new way to write. You kind of just walk around with the GoPro and then you just use the chat GPT to organize the thought afterwards. I mean, it's so much faster. And uh, I'm just curious about these new workflows. Less interested in the physical like gallery in terms of photography, whether it's a book, a zine, a print. I think we got to think about the future more and how we can implement these new workflows, whether it's through video, photo, etc. I'm still playing and tinkering with it, but ultimately, I think that every single street photographer would benefit from removing themselves from Instagram and making a website blog. Just use wordpress.org, bluehost.com. Just host your first name, last name, and just start plugging and playing. And I installed the Astra theme. It's the most popular one. And it's like you own your own social media, essentially. Uh, what is with these fucking, like, <laughs> these three-wheeled cars, man? These guys, they... Uh, <laughs> He's got the AirPods in. They just, they go around like they're, they're in like Mario Kart. Who made these, uh, who, who invented these? These Mario Kart mobiles? They're freaking ridiculous. Um, also, uh, this, uh, yeah, the city is like an open air f uh, flea market, by the way. These guys, uh, the guy was just trying to get my attention to sell me some shit. They go, smell good, smell good. And it's like a uh, cologne. And like the irony is cologne actually smells bad. Like I don't like, I don't use cologne. I use deodorant just on my armpits or whatever. Just like natural deodorant. But I think that using cologne, I mean, it's just to me, it's off putting, it's disgusting. Like I can't stand the smell of perfume, cologne, etc. And yeah, people essentially sell shit on the streets of Philly. It's kind of funny. Like I asked this cop, I was like, what is, what's up, what's going on? Like are people just allowed to sell whatever they want on the streets? You know, it's like, it's just like this open air market. Like people are selling drugs. People are selling turtles, like literally turtles. People are selling uh, puppies, like li like all sorts of shit. And it's just crazy. Tamika, hi, long time no see, I'm great. Fall is here, I'm great, yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, the best people to talk with are security guards and uh, you know, the city employees and stuff that you'll see on the street. Tamika's cool. Yeah, she's one of the first security guards that I used to chat with for the past year now, maybe more, I don't know. But yeah, I try to get everyone's names, you know, I feel like it's a good way to go about the everyday walk, get to know your local area, get to know who's selling turtles, get to know who's selling smell goods. It's disgusting, like, smell good, smell good. Yeah. I, I think I'm going to start, uh, I'm going to start selling Lucy's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I, I, was, I was trying to get out. <laughs> I couldn't get in it. Um, all right, I think I'm just gonna. <laughs> yeah, just become the ultimate troll in your hometown. Just uh, don't take it so seriously. I think the craziest thing about street photography, it's so um, liberating because it's not something that's typically like within the realm of social norms. So if you act like spontaneous and like do jokes and whatever, like those girls were making a TikTok or something and you jump in the video, like no one cares. Like I think the point is street photography brings your life more meaning. It's so much more fun to explore life with the camera than not. So yeah, just when in doubt, put the camera in your pocket and just go for a walk. It doesn't really matter whether or not you make a great photo, but to embrace the moment and sort of just let go of the past, maybe not even dwell in the future, but just remain ever present through observing life's complexities, both as a bystander and an active participant in life, where as much as I am putting order to the chaos within the frames that I make, I'm also within those frames, if you will, where I feel as though the photograph becomes a reflection of my soul. A photograph becomes a, ref a reflection of my lust for life. And the more lust for life you have, the more you're going to go out there with your camera. And the more you go out there with your camera and walk, and the more that you see, the more that you photograph, the more you're going to increase your chances of making something, right? The more you're going to find that vision that you're looking for, right? Where as I photograph, I'm essentially photographing as a way for me to see, right? I'm photographing as a way for me to hone in on my vision. And over time, your vision develops, right? These notions of like style and whatever aesthetic tastes within photography are kind of funny. 
I believe that it's a matter of you photographing first and then you'll figure out how you see. Um, and so, yeah, I think uh, at the end of the day, I'm merely photographing as a way for me to see what reality will manifest to be in a photograph. So not necessarily photographing and documenting life as it is, which is the ethos of street photography, right? Candid life as it is, but actually photographing what it could be, sort of abstracting reality, making this effort to uplift the ordinary towards the extraordinary, right? That's the sort of challenge of practicing street photography, where our medium, our subject rather, is the mundane and uh yeah everything's fair game just don't sit down yeah don't sit on the uh on the seats don't uh sit on your balls just uh march